What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back from another Saturday morning bonus video. I apologize for the lack of audio quality on this one. I'm actually recording it with my Coolpix L830 camera here and not my beautiful microphone. But nonetheless, I wanted to do a quick kind of update and show you guys my setup because I had a few questions about it. I guess we'll start kind of here at my desk. We'll go over my whole room. Uh, I, I guess the first thing you'll probably notice is this lovely, lovely mural on the wall that I so lovingly and carefully stapled to my wall. Yep, we're gonna get a, a little Counter-Strike Go-esque type thing here. Maybe I should skin this with an Asimov skin or something. But this is just foam mattress padding to put on top of your mattress to make it look better. Um, I put on the walls and it, here I'll show you exactly all I did, some back here as well. Because it really was echoey in here and this helped out a lot, especially being in a corner here. But we'll start here a little bit. Um, there's my speakers down there and an iPod. This is the Alesis Multimix 4 USB. You can see it kind of picking up my, no my voice there a little bit. So, and then I use the Logitech G430 8.1 or 7, I don't know, whatever, surround sound gaming headset. Really nice. Um, we'll come over here. This is my Logitech G710 Plus um, keyboard here. It's got Cherry MX Browns, which are nice and, nice and quiet uh, compared to like the blues and stuff but I like it a lot and it's got some macro buttons here on the side that help as well. Um, these here and here are the, uh, was it? The octopus keycaps. I like them because they're, they're really grippy so I can feel when I'm off key. You can feel it. it's very tactile. Um, I did a video on that. I never released it. Maybe I should. Anyways, coming over here, this guy is the ASUS 23-inch VG248QE 144 hertz gaming monitor. Um, this thing is pretty badass. I really like it. Um, that was my birthday present to myself this year, oddly enough. And my camera's readjusting for the brightness. We'll come over here. There we go. All right. And then, of course, you guys already know, here I have my Platinum Edition Blue Spark here in all of its glory. I'm using the stand off of my um, Blue Snowball here to hold it up because the stand that I bought for it wasn't the right um, adapter. So I'm gonna have to get an adapter for it really quick. Over here, I have the Logitech G502 mouse. I really, really enjoy this mouse. I did a, an unboxing of this as well. I'll put a link here if you want to see it. In fact, I did an unboxing of this one. I'll leave you a link if you want. And also this guy here as well. So if you want to see any of those, I'll put the annotations on the screen. And then underneath it, I have the Rocket Sense mouse pad. It's just really nice. It was just the best one they had at Best Buy, honestly. I'll probably get a bigger one for when I'm playing Counter-Strike, something that hopefully takes up this entire space here, but we'll see. And I have some control alt delete cup set here that my um, brother-in-law got me. And then of course this nice, nice glass desk here, which oddly enough my mother gave me because she bought a while ago and never used it. So she just gave it to me. Then here's my PC down here in all of its glory. This is a, let's see, it's the Oh, which, which one is it? The Rosewell Blackhawk case. Yep, that's right. Rosewell Blackhawk case. Inside is a EVGA Dual Superclock GTX 760 GPU, an AMD 8 core FX 8350 CPU that runs at 4.2 gigahertz. I've got 8 gigabytes of RAM in there, one 120 gigabyte. SSD card that I use for my operating system and stuff, and then two one terabyte W uh, Western Digital Blue ones that I use one for all my files and games, and the other one solely for recording, um, which trust me is not enough. You probably need two or more. So 
and then here's all of my games and stuff. Well, not all of them. See, my, my kids got me a pig plushie from Minecraft for Christmas this year. And then I've got some more here. And this guy here, I haven't actually ever seen anyone have one of these for, I believe I got it at like McDonald's or something, but this is a Spyro the Dragon plushie here that I've had since I was a kid. I love Spyro as a kid, I still love it actually. And our PS3 box, my NES box as well, that's all complete in box. And then actually there it is, my NES right there. So that's my Game Boy and all, all my games are in there and then some games there as well. Now these here are very special to me. These are my Sega Genesis games as well as my console and two Nomads. This was the first console I ever got. So very special to me. In fact, I have more games I haven't been able to fit on the shelf down here. Lots more stuff here um, as, as well as more games underneath it. And then heading down here, I have my Wii, as well as my N64 and some games. Two Xbox 360s. Uh, the white one is bricked, it doesn't work. It's got the red ring of death or whatever. And then down here, my regular Xbox and some Guitar Hero controllers. This is the box that my Spark came in. Printer, no one cares. This here is my laptop I use when I'm streaming and stuff to read chat. And then my blue, micro my blue Snowball. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. I'll probably keep it as a backup. I was thinking of selling it or giving it away, but I'll probably just keep it as a backup. And then here are just some of my games. And then here's some more games and some more and some manga. And there's actually some manga behind there and some more games here. And then, like I said, there's a lot more games in here that's just full as well as a wave bird as well i sold my gamecube so but it works with the with the uh the wii so and then over here in this corner i have my dance pad for pump it up that was a huge thing when i was a kid we played that a lot i should do a video on that i think that would be a lot of fun but um yeah i used to play this guy a lot here and then this whole corner is just all of my boxes and crap so you can see here, I keep my boxes for all of my components and everything. It was really nice when I was moving because I just put my whole, my whole PC in that box. I just shoved it in there, it fit perfectly and I moved it. So, but anyways, this is my setup. There are many others like it, but this one here is mine. I really like it. The only thing is the glass desk makes it really hard to hide all your cable -y mess down there, but that's all right, I still like it. And I also have a lot of Logitech stuff here. I really like Logitech. I think part of it is they make really good products and the other part is they're very inexpensive, especially compared to a lot of their, you know, competitors and stuff. So, but I really like it. They just work, honestly. I don't have any issues with that. But anyways, this has been my room. I hope you guys liked this little tour here. I'm still working on it, still adding stuff. I need to get more bookshelves in here, apparently. But anyways, that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.